Buckeye fans, of course, will scream for interference, but that was, a, that was close. Barrett, sacked! Jason! Defensive line this way, and they bring Cabinda around to the right of Isaiah Prince, 59. See how he collapsed down? Made it easy for Cabinda to come down. Well-designed blitz there by Penn State and Brent Bryan, the leader who has missed the last four games, comes up with a huge play for the Nittany Lion defense. And Ohio State, Kirk, is going to have to go back. Play fake. Oliver takes a shot deep downfield, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cabinda. And this game has been completely turned on its ear. All the momentum belongs to the Nittany Lions now. His play, there was a wide open wide receiver underneath. Right there, you see him in the middle of your screen, Mike McHugh. But Zach Oliver decides to push the football down the field, trying to get it to Carr. And Cabinda, running right underneath, gets the bobble in the big play for the defense. John, really the first obvious mistake that we've seen to try to throw again. Pressure comes, and Lego is going to be swung around and down to the turf by Jason Cabinda, the Mike linebacker. He's in, in Iowa, pretty good here. Well, it's just a speed rush outside, and the tackle can't handle him. And you see, he, he doesn't even want the sack. He's going to try to rip that ball out again. Pretty darn good. Flip it in the flat to Davis, and he is hit hard by Mr. Cabinda, and he's still down on the field. Well, Cabinda this time, man to man, they're trying to get in the way of Cabinda, but he gets depth. Mm. He's the guy that had a thumb injury. He missed five games. He came back for the Ohio State game, and he made an instant impact in that game, and he made a big impact on Davis there. He sure did. The Aztecs facing a third and eight. Little shovel pass, and that is destroyed. No chance for Donnell. And you see nothing but your man. He jumped it right away. You see Cabinda. Here comes. He, he comes on the blitz off the offside. But Cabinda right now. And Bethel oh. trying to leap. He gets shoved back, and Bethel's not going to get there. Someone jumped over the top. I believe it was Cabinda. That is an awesome play. Watch him. Watch him get the height. Right here. Watch him get the height and get up top and make it at its peak right there. Oh, that's awesome. You just don't see that stuff. That's a big time football play. Nice timing, nice strike, and a great finish. Field position for Jake Rudock and a delayed handoff. And there is a tackle for loss from the number one tackle for loss team in college football. Jason Cabinda made the stop. Nine for this Penn State defense. And you've seen this in the two run plays, slower developing plays. Rutgers had some success doing this. Indiana as well a week ago in the run game. Now that plays out in the second half. Straight back on second and 10. O'Korn steps up, directs a block, and loses the football. Wolverines retain possession. That was Grant Perry coming Penn back. Penn State defense, pretty heads up play here by Grant Perry. I love it. Like you said, he called his shot. He wants Hickman to come up with a block. But Jason Cabinda definitely hits him. That ball is out. And in the background is 88, Grant Perry. Grace needs to be careful here. Sony Michelle knocked Ooh. down for a loss. Popped. Jason Cabinda for Penn State. Back up. So Bryce Ramsey watches here. The exact same play they ran before. They didn't pull it and throw it. They handed it. Sure. Under pressure. Ball is loose. That's a live football. Army able to recover, but there is the ferocity of that Penn State pass rush. And though it was the pass rush, it was the blitzing linebacker right up the middle with the play. Jason Cabinda with the pressure on the quarterback and the sack fumble. And those are the types of things when you've got a dominant defensive line. You're not concerned about the guys squeaking through with the linebackers. You're focused on the four up front, and that was a perfect opportunity. Room to run. Big time stick from Cabinda, and that is going to hold Kent State short. In fact, they might have zoned by Kent State, and Jason Cabinda is right there. 
So is nice. Garrett Sickles. Yeah, nice game tackling right there for Penn State on a little inside zone. It's hard to spin in the backfield like that. Back to play again. The interception spoiled. Handoff, Morgan Ellison. Corralled quickly. Marshall is the tailback. He's got it. And he gets stuffed. Penn State will get the ball at its own 25 with a minute 52 to go. Jason Cabinda. Over trying to run a weak side over here at the bottom of your screen. Stuffed right there. Look at that. Just the physicality at the point of attack. Really impressive. Let's give a nod to Grant Sickles, uh, Garrett Sickles, yeah. rather. Nice. Second possession for Ohio State. Weber is smacked in the backfield as Jason Cabinda, the middle backer who returns tonight with that hand bandage up, made the stop. Yeah, he's right here in the middle. Watch him shoot the gap. Nobody accounts for him. Times up that blitz perfectly. You can see a wrestler. Sure to throw. Pump fakes. In trouble. Nowhere to go, and he's sacked. Jason Cabinda may have sealed it for Penn State. And give credit to this Penn State defense. Three passing attempts, two sacks. Those are the types of numbers that you've got to have. You watch it here. Great play call. We talked about the play action, really drew in the linebackers. But whatever it was, A.J. Shore didn't like the look. He got downfield. And at that point, Jason Cabinda, one of my impact players coming into the ball game, a nice job of chasing down the ball and getting the sack.